YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Vicki Wright. I hope that you'll uh, come along and watch me on what I do today. I'm going to be remaking this gas fireplace. Um, this house is an older home. It was my husband's childhood home. We've redone a lot of it. And this was a carport that was turned into a family room. So it has the brick exterior that we just recently whitewashed. And now I'm going to change this. This is an oak fireplace insert with the gas propane heater. I'm going to take some black high heat spray paint and spray, spray paint all of the brass a matte black. And I let you all vote on Instagram what color to paint the fireplace, white or black. And you all decided the majority was white. So I actually really was torn because I think the white's gonna look good, but I really think the black would look great too. So I'm gonna do it white, and if I'm not crazy about it, I can paint over and do it in black. But I wanted to share some of the stuff that I'm gonna be using today. Um, the process that I'm gonna be using is from HTP, which is Heirloom Traditions Paint. It is based in Kentucky. It is famous, people use it everywhere. And this is the deglosser. Um, it's non-flammable, water-based, environmentally safe. It degreases and deglosses the surface without sanding. So say if you want to use it in your kitchen on your cabinets, you could take this, brush it on, then wipe it off, and it removes any grease or residue, like build up from, um, say furniture polish that I've used through the years on this. This is about, it's probably close to 25 years old. We've been here 25 years and we got it pretty quick. We do have a uh, central heat and air and they are two vents in here, but this is a concrete floor and part of the wall is concrete on the back side, and this whole wall is brick. So it does stay cooler in here than typical in a typical uh, wood frame house. So that's why we added the propane gas to it. So with that being said, um, you know, I've used furniture polish through the years and so forth. And this will take off all those layers of furniture polish, any grease that may be on it or residue from the uh, fireplace that we've used, uh, anything like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it good and I need to wipe this off. I don't know if that's dust or, or what it is, but I'm gonna get a damp sponge and clean that as well. But after we do that, I've got some, um, Here's the paint, I'll go ahead and show you that too. It doesn't take very much. It goes really far. Three different types of brushes here that I'll be using to get into the more ornate places and these little lines here. Um, so yeah, I'll be using some of these type of brushes and then I've got a paint sponge. This is why I hope I'll be using the majority of it because once you put it on, you just pat it, stipple. I'm sorry, the word stipple. And it just really leaves a really neat finish. Now the first coat of paint is gonna be an ugly coat, they call it. It's not gonna look good. But after that dries and I put on that second coat, it's gonna leave a beautiful finish. So I hope you'll come along with me that you'll watch me do this process. After it gets completely done, I'm gonna decorate it and show you what it looks like. So I hope you decide to stick around. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. I do a lot of cooking here. I do a lot of sharing recipes. I do grocery hauls, shopping hauls, a day in the life, um, home renovations, home decor, and I also do Grammy school because I keep my two granddaughters during the school year while her parents, my son and his wife are teachers. So I'll start having them back in August, so I'll be doing more videos of that. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you've ever used the Heritage Tradition paint. Um, I think it's wonderful. Um, you can go on there and get a free sample and uh, they will also, I think the color charts are like $2. They come in a lot of different colors. So I actually bought this to redo my kitchen cabinets, but that was such a big project. And I've painted my kitchen cabinets before, but not with this, that I wanted to try it on something smaller first. So I'm gonna use it on this, see how it does, and then I most likely 
we we'll use this on my kitchen cabinets to re give them a refresh because it's been a while since they've been painted. This is the color cashmere, which is a white. And um, so I hope you'll come along with me. I just took a shower, so I've got my hair pulled back. I don't have any makeup on, but you know, I'm just myself here and the um, way God made me to be. So I hope you'll enjoy this. So I'm gonna put it on a time lapse and you all can watch me. Stay tuned. Can't wait to see what it looks like. two minutes I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping and see how it does. Wipe with the clean dry cloth that's what this is. Oh wow yeah that works great. I had some little splatters of paint on this from when I did my whitewashing it came right off. Look at this. I had put an oil based finish on this just to enrich the um, the design of it last year, and it's bringing that off. Oh yeah, it's coming off good. Instagram family, you all voted. White won. So we're going to try this with white and do all the brass trim in black. And if I don't like it, then we'll paint over it with black because I think either one of them would look good. So we'll share a reveal soon. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go check it out. Vicki Wright. Link in the bio. Doesn't tell you very much at all. I think this might even be the free sample. I got a free sample and then I bought the deglosser. So I'm gonna sit it inside this little bucket just to make sure it doesn't spill. I've got three brushes, one's pointed, one's flat, one's a little bit, you know, flatter in this way. So if I need to get, you know, in the sides, I can go down it with this or through that, I can use the little pointer brushes to get down in there. And then on the second coat, most of it's going to be just stippling it. So we'll have one ugly coat, one great coat. So I've got everything laid out here. I just taped off the areas of the black because everything that's wood is going to be painted. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, take my cover off. It's the first time of opening it. I did shake it really well, so hopefully that mixed it enough, I hope. Okay. And then, let me get this off. Lord, help me that I don't spill it in this carpet. That would not be good, would it? Let's see here. How do I? A little bit tricky, but I'm sure it's because they don't want it to spill easily. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's got like a. I don't know why I'm over there. All right, let me put that right there. Peel that off. It's really full, so I'm going to sit it down in this bucket. Okay, and I'm going to start on the top and go down. So, the way they showed it was. I don't know, it scares me to do it, but they showed it where you basically turn that jar of paint upside down. YouTube family, welcome back. I'm going to finish my fireplace up. I ended up putting three coats of the uh, Heirloom Traditions paint on. It's like a chalk based coat. So it took three coats. And uh, I like the way it, it turned out. 
I went ahead and put this little garland on there, but I'm gonna decorate it for fall when I get done here. I did take the frame on the outside, it detaches. I took it outside and sprayed it with this high heat black matte paint, spray paint. This doesn't come off, so I seen where it says you could spray inside the lid and then use a paintbrush and try to brush it on. So I'm gonna try that. Keep your fingers crossed that it works. I hope the fumes aren't too bad. So let's see how it turns out. several coats on it it is turning it darker so that's a good thing can you see it try to um, sand it a little bit to help it have a little bit of grip on it so just with a mild sandpaper that way that it grips to it a little bit I think this is gonna work. We might have to put several coats on it. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see how it does. Okay. Well, it's trying to. See there? It's, it's going on there. We just have to put a few coats on it. Spray a little bit more. doing good look can you see how it's doing might have to put several coats on it but that's okay I thought I was gonna have to tape it off and try to spray it and I was afraid I'd get overspray on my white so this helps that for sure Looks pretty good. You couldn't use a Sharpie. I thought of that, but you have to have something that's for high heat. And this is, so that worked out great. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Look how sharp that looks. I love it. I'm burning up working. Can you see it? Let's let it dry a minute and then we'll put another coat on. Let me touch up a little bit down here on the bottom. This is working. Pretty daggone good, if I say so myself. Don't you? See down here where I got a little bit of, I had taped it off and I needed to get right on the edge. Can you see how good it's looking? Spread a little bit more.
is so strong. The paint smell so strong. Try to not get it flopping at all. How good that looks. I think I got it all. Um, do I dare try to paint these words right here? Let's see. It's covering it. Look, it's covering it. To make it solid black. Look at the hair. Wow. Looks so much better, don't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so excited. All right. So guys, look, what an easy update. Uh, then the three in one, the glosser from Heirloom Traditions, it primes it and it's a top coat and you don't have to, um, it sands, it like puts a sand grid on it, so you don't have to sand it or anything. This was oak. I'll put a before and after picture. And then the brass, this was brass trim all around it. This was removable, so I took it out in the yard, and I sprayed it with this high heat Krylon spray. I got it from Lowe's. I'll link it down below. I'll link the Heirloom Traditions paint down below as, as well. And um, then this little strip here, like I was showing you, I just sprayed it in the cup lid. Used a little paintbrush and just dabbed it on. And I think it looks phenomenal. I think it looks amazing. I love it. What do y'all think? Let me know. If you like this type of video, give me a big thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. God bless you and you have a great day. As soon as this dries, I'm going to decorate it for you and then I'll show you. Okay, YouTube family, what do you think of the fireplace? I love it. I think it turned out wonderful. Do you all think the white was the right decision? Or do you think black? Let me know in the comments below. I'm loving the white right now. That may change, which I can always paint it black if I decide to. But I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.